If you've ever visited Dawson City before, you've likely taken a picture in front of this building. In fact, it's the most photographed building in the entire town. It's known as the Kissing Building because of how the two structures are collapsing on top of each other. And it's all because of permafrost thawing underground. You get sort of a true sense of the full effects of permafrost on a building that's had no intervention or just been stabilized. This is a really good visual example of it. But this hasn't always been the case. Looking down at Dawson City from the Midnight Dome, you can see the entire town, the beauty of the Yukon River, and not far away, the gold mines. It's easy to envision the hustle and bustle that once was. Dawson City has long been known as the Paris of the North due to its prosperity. In the 1890s, it was the center of the Klondike Gold Rush and was transformed into a thriving city of 40,000 people. It was built quickly to accommodate all the new residents, but it was never meant to be permanent. And now this historic town is quite literally crumbling to the ground. There, there's no way you could have predicted what the ground was going to do uh, with this particular structure. So it is caving in. It's the Weather Network had a chance to explore Dawson City with Janice Cliff from Parks Canada, who showed us the impacts that permafrost has had on the infrastructure in the town. Many buildings, other than the famous Kissing One, have been impacted by the changing landscape. Permafrost happens in places where the air is cold enough year-round that the earth never fully thaws. Every year, there's a natural freeze and thaw cycle that happens in the spring and fall months. But as ground temperatures rise, the ice lenses under the surface permanently disappear, meaning the ground loses volume and there's nothing to hold structures together. Dawson City has seen an increase in temperatures of over 2.4 degrees Celsius since 1901, and similar increases are expected over the next two decades. When Parks Canada saw what was happening to the buildings due to the changing climate, they responded by implementing infrastructure repairs in the Klondike region. They're all in various stages of stabilization. For some of these buildings, the intervention is minor. Come on in. Just adding interior support like beams to keep the public safe. For others that continue to tell a historic story of the gold rush, they did more intense revamping. The, the easiest and most accessible ways to deal with the foundation uh, in Dawson is, is to excavate to bedrock. Uh, the permafrost is allowed or, or meant to thaw. It's refilled or backfilled uh, with the gravel and packed down. And so that now is your, your permanent foundation. So many of the buildings are built up on wooden cribbing. The idea is you're, you're building up off the ground that allows the ground to remain frozen, cold air to circulate underneath and if there is any shift or movement in the ground with a thaw or a freeze uh, you can level the building using jacks and shims uh, so every five or six years you'll you'll find you're you're doing a little leveling <laughs> and now all of the new homes in Dawson are being built up off the ground in hopes of protecting the structures the buildings are built up on cribbing so you can see like all the plumbing plumbing and sewage is coming from the ground and going up insulated Eventually this building will be skirted, but that open space means cold air circulating, the ground stays frozen, stays stable. And while we'll have to wait and see if this new way of building can stand the test of time against permafrost thawing below, Parks Canada, along with local government, private businesses, and the Trondic Witch and First Nation are all working together to keep these buildings alive, since they are the key to keeping the history of this town alive as well.